everyone welcome back to my channel today we have so freaking many rem beauty products like i can't even i got all the lip liners i got the new lipsticks i got the lip oils i'm going to be trying everything on and then swatching everything of course and letting you guys know my thoughts i am gonna have a giveaway in this video so make sure you watch till the end so you can enter the giveaway because there's gonna be a little lipstick or whatever if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you subscribe before you get into it but without further ado let's get into it this is the everything nice lip balm super consistent packaging with all the other drops Ooh, oh my gosh this is such a cute little packaging how cute is this it reminds me of the lash serum from the last drop oh it's giving space Oh my gosh, and it's like a sparkly little pinky lilac color with some little like gold flecks in it. It also smells like vanilla, I live. It feels really hydrating. It definitely feels more oily than other lip balms I've tried. It's a very, very subtle, shiny-ish color. I don't even think the sparkle comes off. Like I think it's just like a cute little vibe to have. We have all four of the essential drip lip oils. Here is Lavender Kiss. How freaking stunning does this look? Wait a second. Is there a, ro look at this applicator. My gosh. That is nuts. It's got a light lavender tint to it, but it's honestly not very noticeable. So this is definitely good for day off vibes or just like a natural glam. I'm gonna swatch it anyways. It's pretty much sheer as you can see. There's just like a slight little sheen to it. I mean, it feels absolutely divine. I love, 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 love the lip oils. This is what mint condition looks like. Again, like super bright color. Okay, she's minty. <laughs> Oh, wow. The thing that's inside it is like so cold. This one is highly refreshing. Okay, so this has menthol and minty scent. Do the other ones have anything? Lavender and a fresh white tea scent for the lavender one. See, I didn't smell that though. I smell it a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but really not that much. This minty one though is really strong, so caution. This is the blue one, this is the lavender one. And then we've got this lip oil, this is Pick and Petals. Oh my gosh, I bet this one has rose in it. This one has chamomile and rosy scent. Miss Pickin' Petals. She looks very peachy, sort of rose color. It just smells very floral, but like almost like dead flowers. It's not so bad, but it's not really my favorite. Here, as you can tell, just a light sort of peachy color. I think this one shows up on my lips the most as like an actual color color. The last and final lip drip oil is raspberry drip. If this doesn't smell like raspberry, I swear swear so this one has oh my god this has ashwagandha in it okay that's actually really cool because ashwagandha is good for like inflammation it's good for being relaxed and then it has a sweet raspberry scent she's a hot pink color oh this is so cute I, ca I can't even smell raspberry to be honest i can only smell just like sadness no <laughs> and this one's a little bit pinkier a little bit pinkier i did go ahead and swatch her she is this so this is the lip liner in the shade harmonies now the fun thing about this packaging is that there's a sharpener on the bottom so you won't have to worry about bringing one with you whenever you use these and the same thing was with the eyeliner which i didn't know very much just like a neutral soft beigey color on my skin tone um i can definitely see it going with a lot of stuff so i'm kind of excited for that so far i really like it i think it's really creamy the one thing i would say is i think similar to the previous lipsticks from the first launch just be aware you know it's not like super long lasting but it is really pretty it goes on really nice this is ad libs this is definitely a warm sort of orangey feel very pigmented this is what the shade looks like compared to the last one it seems like the color schemes are going to be one neutral one warm and one cool tone this is what eq looks like this is definitely the cool toned one this is the swatch it's <laughs> uh kind of broke while i was swatching it because i pressed way too hard this is what top line looks like granted my lips are getting a little bit red but i put some concealer before i went ahead and did this this one is definitely like a peachy color as you can see here okay so i would definitely call this one a true pink shade and this was the shade key change so now we are going to try on shade lyrics this is the sort of darker pinky shade that i'm used to wearing okay so what do we think about this 
Squalor. This is definitely gonna be my favorite, obviously. And this is the shade Lyrics. Once again, we have her here. Let's try on Melodies first. Marilyn Monroe Red. This is so pretty. Oh my God. Giving such Hollywood red vibes. This is so approachable. Like I love this red. The next shade we're gonna try is 808s. Cute, kind of scary, kind of makes my teeth look yellow. So that's disgusting. This is what the swatch looks like. The next shade we're gonna try is Bounce. This is really pretty. I can definitely see myself wearing this one a lot. And it's really like a nice sort of blackberry shade. That's literally how I would describe this, except a little bit more pinky than a blackberry is. We've got this last shade here, for the lip liners at least. Um, and this is called Reverb. And this is the one that I felt, felt like was like a chocolatey brown sort of color. You know what? It's not so bad. Not so bad. This is the official color story for all of the lip liners. Sorry about this horribly messy one. But yeah, definitely super comprehensive, really smart uh, choices happening here. There's definitely something for, for everyone, I would say. I am scared, you guys. I'm scared for my lips. Ooh, girl. All right, fine. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's just get through this vibe. So let's try on Leave a Message. This is the On Your Collar Liquid Lipstick. This is literally like the eyeshadow, which is so trippy, except I think a lot of their packaging has this flat edge so that it will stay and not just roll around on your desk. Okay, these definitely have a very vanilla-y sort of feeling. So I would call this one a true beige. <laughs> the liquid lipstick definitely feels soft. I'm gonna wait until I try the last one to let it dry down. You know the gig with liquid lipsticks, right? It's like they they dry down, they're not supposed to move as much. <laughs> I hate always like blending into my face, but this is where the lip liners would come in. Okay, my camera just died because it said it was too hot. Let's try on the next shade. This is the shade Haughty. She's the Haughty girl. Um, that was so annoying, but whatever. Giving very orangey tan color. This is definitely matching the scheme of all the lip products she's ever come out with. This is what that shade looked like. Let's try on Wifey, because obviously. No, um, I think Wifey was actually lighter shade than the last two ones I just tried, so. It's fine. Okay, yeah, so this is literally the beige color storyline happening right here. And I didn't even mean for that, but here we are. I have no words. I don't know, I hate it. <laughs> but I'm sure for some of you, this is your go-to color. It just depends on your skin tone or whatever, or just wear whatever the hell you want. This is gonna be the, the shade, the face, the shade Yum. Love a good sort of raspberry color. So obviously this one is probably my favorite. Definitely literally following the scheme. Now let's do Doll Face. Doll Face is actually going to be the shade that I'm gonna be giving out today. So make sure you pay close attention uh, to what she looks like. She's this really, really nice, like pinky color. I think she would look great right on literally any skin tone. Isn't this so pretty? It's so like springy summery. So if you guys don't like pink colors, <laughs> probably don't enter the giveaway. And I will tell you guys more about the details about how to enter later. So here she is in the middle. I guess I'll just try this Diva shade. This looks like it's gonna be the bright red that I really liked, the sort of like Hollywood red. Uh, so not great. <laughs> so this shade Diva, you can find right here. Let's try Miss Meryl next. Is this like Meryl Streep? Like, I'm assuming. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, this might be the Hollywood Red. I hope it is, I hope it is. It's like a very, very rich sort of just straight up red. Gorgeous color. I definitely overlimed my lips, which is why I typically use a lip liner, so <laughs> it doesn't look this crazy. This is a really, really classic pretty red color. I love it. I think it's so flattering. Like honestly, if I didn't choose the pink shade, I probably would have chose this. Oh my gosh, I almost took off all the swatches. I probably would have chose this like red color because I think again, it would suit like everyone. And so this is what the shade Meryl looks like. Now we will try on this shade right here. I'm gonna call it tea because I don't want to uh, get on the wrong side of YouTube, which has happened to me before. This one looks orange. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit confused with the color story. I'm gonna have to compare it on my arm after this. Oh God. 
Okay, I'm not putting this on all the way, guys. Please. I have no words about how much I dislike it. So this is the final shade. I put it on while my <laughs> camera was chilling out. Um, this is the shade Absolutely. It's that chocolatey brown that I didn't love for myself. Um, but this is the final shade of the liquid lipstick. So as you can see in the beginning, it totally matched up, but then it started getting confusing a little bit. Like, I think these two match. I think maybe this red and this red. Now we are on to the classic lipsticks. Let's go ahead and try the lightest one, which I believe is gonna be the shade Kiss Me, which is so cute. I love that name. This is what the component looks like for the lipsticks. It's got the same sort of similar vibe to the initial launch. It's super thin, oh my gosh. Okay, I did not expect it to be this thin. I thought it was gonna be like just a classic lipstick shape. The one thing about this is I would be worried I would break it. It feels like the lip balm, but with color. So that's cool. I mean, it kind of has a similar look to it too, considering obviously this one's chunkier. This is so freaking pretty. Okay, what shade was this again? Okay, this is shade Kiss Me. So let's just swatch her. Really, really buttery. Like this will definitely come off, but at the same time, it's the most comfortable lipstick I've worn in a long time. The next shade I wanna try is Pucker Up. So again, we've got sort of this neutral pinky color that looks a little bit different than the overall other color scheme. So that's super interesting. The next shade I'm gonna try is, I'm gonna call it L. I believe this is gonna be the last of sort of the beigey colors. It feels like it's about to break off whenever I'm putting it on. This is that shade. The next one we're gonna try is Tongue Tied. Okay, this is very much a true pink color once again. This is what it looks like. Definitely a true pink color. Okay, continue, 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 hey, continue, continue. Um, I'm kind of losing it after all these shades. Okay, let's try on Heart Breaker. Not far off. No, just kidding, stop. Okay, that is a nice red. Oh, <gasps> gorgeous, perfect vintage red look. This is what I was looking for with the liquid lipsticks that I didn't really get. So I guess some of the lip liners match the liquid lipsticks and some of them match the regular lipsticks. It's going to be my go-to red for sure. The next shade we're gonna try is Twisted. So now we're getting back to that like orangey shade that I don't think looks good on me. And this was the shade Twisted, swatched here, same just like fiery orange look. The next shade we have here is Attention. This is so pretty. I love the reds in this collection. Let me do the little swatchy. We are going to try on Cabernet, very much wine, gorgeous really really pretty final and last color i'm sure you can guess is that brownish color this is going to be the shade cuddly which i love not my favorite again i'm gonna need to stop ordering these browns you guys that was it for all the lip products i decided to put back on the shade lyrics mixed with the shade yum for the liquid lipstick and then i put some of the raspberry one on top and this is what we look like i could definitely see myself wearing this as like my everyday sort of lipstick combination this is what all the lipstick shades ended up looking like the lip liners, the classics, the liquid lipsticks. Very similar color scheme, but not entirely the exact same. For the giveaway, I'm gonna be giving away a On Your Color liquid lipstick in the shade Doll Face. Make sure you run it back to see what the color looks like. It's this sort of very true, like pinky berry color. Love it. Um, and if you guys wanna enter, make sure you subscribe. I will be checking that, obviously. <laughs> uh, make sure you like this video and comment down below either your favorite Ariana Grande song or your astrology sign if you don't really listen to her as much. It's fine, all are welcome. Let me know what you thought of today's video. What did you think of the products? Are you excited to enter the giveaway? Um, and I will reach out to you once I pick a winner. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have a cute, Ass day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!